Madison Valley's first program of 2024 invites you to feel the love and fall in love with ballet. And joining me now is the Madison Ballet Artistic Director, John Malik. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you as always for having me. Exciting with less than a week to go. Yes. So tell us um, about this program. I know it has some premieres, some returning mm. work. So kind of give us an overview of what you have to share. Yeah, so um, I think the main thing that I'm trying to convey with this program is love. Like mm -hmm. just that love is love and you know, as falling under Valentine's Day and what better way to celebrate the season of love than with the program of love. So it is new ballets, brand new world premieres and some of the works that we've done in the past that really express something about love. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm most excited about is this new piece by Stephanie Martinez, who is an award winning Latin speaking choreographer from Chicago. And you're seeing a little bit of her rehearsal now. And this ballet is just so beautiful and it's so emotional and it, the music and the costumes and everything just made me just, ooh. I fell in love with it. Is it the first piece? It's going to be the last piece on the Ooh, program. Oh, the last piece. Okay, good to know. I know you, um, and in talking about Stephanie, make it a priority to have diversity representation mm -hmm. in ballet. Talk about why that commitment is so important to you and, and so important to the ballet community at yeah, large. Yeah, I just, I, you know, being a black artist, I just want to make sure that everyone feels represented in every way I can. Um, and one of those ways is to bring in people from different backgrounds and different communities. And um, this community hasn't been spoken to yet here in Madison. So I want to speak to the Latin community by bringing someone in um, that is from their culture and from their background so they can have a representation of themselves on stage. It was important for me to see, which made me fall in love with ballet. And I'm hoping that it does the same for this community in Madison. And one of your pieces, right, is also part of this yes. show. Tell yes. us about that so one. I know everyone missed my work in, um, in our first rep show of the year, um, but I am back and there's a lot of my work actually. <laughs> but the first work that I actually created for Madison Ballet is back on the program, which is Guitar Concerto, which was created out of my love for Madrid and mm -hmm. everything that I experienced living in that city. Um, so it's a love letter to Madrid, but it was also a love letter to say hello and welcome to Madison from me to you. I love that yeah. and how it all ties into the theme. And then you also have um, an open, like a night out mm -hmm. for LGBTQ, yes, right? Talking the, about tell representation. Me about that. So on the 16th of February, we are having an out night, um, which is celebrating the LGBTQIA plus community. Mm -hmm. And this is a program that's different from the others. It's going to have some world premieres in mm -hmm. that as well. Um, that speak about love is love and how it's universal and it doesn't matter whether it's a man and a woman or two men or two women or your mother and your daughter or your friends. It's, it's just about a whole community having a moment just to say we love you, we appreciate you and we see you. Thank you so much for being here. Glad Thank to show having me. all of those dates and I hope people can get out and yeah, enjoy the hard so work also. that you and all the artists are putting in. If you would like to learn more, check out those times and ticket information, visit madisonballet.org.